can't believe another horrific car accident in Manhattan. Who had the right of way? Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. Come on in. I want to tell you about this article that I was just reading in the New York Post as I'm heading out the door for my bike ride. It's called Harlem Car Horror. Now, why would I even bother to tell you about it? Uh, I want to tell you about it because it involves a driver of a Lincoln Town car and the driver of a pickup truck that collided in an intersection in Manhattan on 145th Street and 7th Avenue. Now, why is this important? I'll tell you why. Because the article indicates that both drivers claim that they had the right of way. Well, how could you have the right of way when the intersection is controlled by traffic light and it's green for only one direction of travel? And if it's green for one direction, that means in the direction coming from the other side, perpendicular to it, has to be red. What does that mean? It means that somebody was careless. Somebody was negligent. Somebody wasn't paying attention and thought they had the right of way. The whole point of this article is that this horrific accident triggered a chain reaction causing the death of an 89-year-old woman. In fact, somebody who was being pushed in a wheelchair and injured three other pedestrians, which is horrible. And what's amazing is that when this case ever gets to court, what will happen is that both drivers are going to point fingers at each other. And now, what does an attorney do in order to evaluate a case like this? Well, the most important thing an attorney does is we go to the scene of the accident. We try and recreate exactly how the accident happened. And why is it important to go to the scene? So that we understand the dynamics and the mechanics of the intersection to determine where the cars were coming from, the distances involved, where the light was, and whether there were any obstructions around. Now, why is that important? Because it helps us recreate and photographs clearly help to determine where the cars were positioned, to determine where witnesses were standing, so that we can actually show step by step where the car was, how fast they were going, what their speed was at the time of the impact, what they noticed beforehand, and that's why it's critical for an attorney to develop this type of investigation. It's horrible. Raymond Tiza, T-I-S-A, was driving the Lincoln Town Car, making a left turn onto 145th Street when a Toyota pickup truck heading south on 7th Avenue plowed into it, police said. So here's what's interesting. It says, one of the witnesses spoke to the driver of the Lincoln Town Car shortly after the accident, and the town car driver claimed he had the right of way. Then it says, a cousin of the driver of the pickup truck disputed that. The truck driver had the green light, and after the collision, he spun around. So you have a clear dispute. One driver says, I have the right of way. The other one says, no, I had the right of way. The sad fact is, it was a horrible tragedy that in all likelihood could have been prevented. That's it for today's video. What I want you to do right now is to press that button below that says like. This way, all of your friends on Facebook and YouTube can get the benefit of the same exact information. And if you have questions about how car accidents work in the state of New York, what I want you to do is to pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your questions. This is what I do every single day. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm going after my bike ride now. Thanks so much.